I'm going to attempt to sit underwater for 24 hours straight because counting to 100,000 wasn't hard enough. So we put a box underwater and we filled said box with air. And my goal is to sit inside said box, which is underwater, for 24 hours, aka spend 24 hours straight underwater. As you can see, it is currently 1126. I'm gonna spend 24 hours under this. So when I come out from under this box, there should be 1126 tomorrow. And this box is underwater, which means I will have spent 24 hours underwater. This is for all you Jake Paulers. Do not try this at home. Good luck. Chris? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> see you in 24 hours. <laughs> All right guys, sorry if the audio is really bad, but I'm under the bucket. The bucket is underwater. As you can see, I have completely submerged underwater right now. I'm gonna spend 24 hours inside of this bucket, which means I've spent 24 hours underwater. Now, normally this wouldn't be safe, but I have this tube right here. And this tube is going to be constantly feeding me oxygen. So that's why I won't suffocate because this tube right here is going to be pumping oxygen into here the entire time. Hey partner, what brings you in here? Ah, uh, just the oxygen. Hey, don't be wasting my oxygen. Oh, it's very precious. I won't breathe any more of your air. Just checking on you. There's not much air in the world. I'm wasting my oxygen. Bye, Chris. See you later. I think we're approximately two minutes into this challenge, and I'm gonna be honest, I can't believe I'm about to spend 24 hours in a freaking cube underwater. This is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done. Here's counting to 100,000. Here's watching its every day bro for 10 hours. Here's spending 24 hours underwater. How is it in here? It's boring. How long has it been like 20 minutes? Um, 10. Great. <laughs> I, I need my phone. Or, or working on it. Oh, goodbye Chris. Now I'm all alone. All alone and on a box under the water. Oh, here comes Chris back. Oh, yeah, you brought me a phone. Yeah. Okay. You seem to be taking on water, my lord. Ah, made it! Alright, go. There's too much man in one boat. Oh no! no. Ah, 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 we're ah, sinking! Ah, ah. So I just moved the raft over top and it feels really good. So Chris, put the raft back over top of me so I can not burn a lot. Jimmy's phone and a hat. All right guys, I just got a care package. The care package included my phone before I was using my friend's phone. And then I got my hat. I've been needing a hat. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down. There's nowhere to sit you guys, so. We're about out of one hour check-in. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, tell you how he's doing. All right, so I think we've officially crossed the one hour mark. I've been in this box underwater for one full hour. Only 23 more to go. So I just sent them a text saying, I want some speakers in here. I want a place to set my phone. I basically want a movie theater in here. And I also want a rag to dry my hair. So they're gonna go buy that. So while Jimmy is underwater for 24 hours, me and Chandler here are going to go get him some stuff to make him his own personal whole movie theater underground. Cool, thank you. Have a good one. Have a good one. Appreciate it. So we're running into a little bit of an issue. As you can hear, see how this thing isn't as loud as it used to be? It's because for some reason it's not pumping as much air. So I don't know what's going on. Hopefully whatever's going on, they're fixing it right now. But for whatever reason, um, I'm not getting air like I used to, which is not a good thing because if they don't fix this soon, bad things could happen. Why did it stop working? So, this was providing Jimmy with the air, but it uh, failed on us. So he's got an emergency system right now, but we've got to take it back, get another one. Well, that doesn't mean there's a hole. That just Hello, Mr. Hole. Jimmy. How close are you? We just checked out and we're leaving now to come save you. You want to buy me some food? Yeah, we'll get you some food. What do you want? What if we get you some sushi, like a big platter? Yeah, give me sushi. Okay. All right, bye. All right, so y'all are rushing back to save Jimmy. We're going to get sushi. I don't even think it's been three hours. One thing I will say, 
Is it is pretty calm and peaceful down here, just you know, being all alone. Why did I do this? And it's like you realize, like, it's not too late to turn back. Like, if I don't turn back now, I, I'm never gonna be able to turn back because I haven't invested too much time. And that's what keeps going through my mind. I'm like, should I stop now? Do I really want to spend another 22 hours in this pool? Logan Pool, Drake Pool, any of the pools? I hope this gets a lot of views. We need like four California rolls. Package is secure. We got the sushi for Jimmy. Now we're gonna go see if he's still alive. So my phone is dead, so I'm putting it in a plastic bag and they're gonna charge it for me. Phone in plastic bag. Wrap it up and hand it to him. Who's that? Is there a Jimmy uh, food for a Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> Under. You do it. I don't get here. There you go. It's for a Jimmy. Okay. Oh, thanks for the sushi. Hi, Jay. Dude, I can't believe they just brought me sushi. Hey, oh, there's no food in here. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't look like too much. I don't know if I can share. Oh, I gotta stake up the entire place so fast. <laughs> Let's see what sushi they got. Here, you wanna take this? <laughs> I don't want it. Oh, dude, this sushi does smell. Dude, look at this. Dude, this sushi looks really good. I don't care what you say, sushi is the best food ever made. Oh, that's a Jake. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> I'm getting assaulted. My sushi, go away. What a jerk. He came here just to insult you guys. Oh, what's this? Oh, hey. They are command strips, so we can put your phone up. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I said it's every day, bro. Is Jimmy dead yet? I will check. We saw bubbles, so Chris thought you were dead. Hey guys, it's 420. Just thought we'd let you know. All right, bye Jim. Bye Tyler. I'm all alone again. Oh, let me pump some air. Dude, ah, this air is getting pretty sh Is he dead? Yeah. Oh, welcome, welcome back. Hello, it's almost time for me to go home. I still have a long time, like 20 hours left. Ah, you'll be all right. Oh, my hands are so soggy. Oh my God. Holy crap. You really do moisturize. <laughs> I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but... You can't really see it, but dude, my hands are all shriveled up. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but that's not normally what my hands look like. Dude, they look so shriveled up right now. Hey guys, I'm having a... Uh... I'm having lots of fun. Can't you tell how much fun I'm having? <laughs> Dude, it, the pads on my fingers are so, like, they feel so weird that, like, it almost hurts to snap because that feels so weird. Oh, my nails feel like they're just gonna fall off. Oh boy, I need some more air. I think the last time I did a 24 hour challenge was when I spun a fidget spinner. Hey, there's Garrett. What's up, dude? I was literally just talking to him. It was kind of good timing. Last time I did a 24 hour challenge was when I did this fidget spinner for 24 hours. Oh, yeah? So, what do you want to say to them? I just wanted to say I hope Jimmy stays alive and I just die. So. Yeah, I need some uh, better oxygen. <laughs> In my hands, I was shriveling. Oh my gosh! I'm losing oh my hands. Who's stealing my oxygen? <laughs> Dude, when there's two people in here, you run out of oxygen quick. So, 
fun story, I have an iPhone 6 and apparently earlier I got water on it and now it doesn't work anymore. So my phone is dead so I'm putting it in a plastic bag. I think there's like 18 hours left in this challenge and uh, I don't have a phone anymore because I got water on it and it wasn't waterproof. And yeah, this is gonna suck. <laughs> if you look right there, you'll see my friends playing, I think they're playing volleyball. I'm glad at least someone's enjoying this challenge. I'm going to count to a thousand for fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Okay, I changed my mind. Counting with limited oxygen is not a good idea. I'm actually getting a little lightheaded. I just realized it's been a really long time since I've straightened out my legs. Alright, let's do it. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, dude. That feels so good. My knees have been bent for a really long time. This actually feels, oh, that feels so good. Alright, note to self. Let's bend our legs more. Or straighten our legs more. <laughs> they actually went to the store and bought me a new phone because I fried my old phone in the water. They gave me a star phone. Put it on. Before we try to float to the air, yeah, I remember how I flew with the balloons and leaf blowers. You gotta do it. Okay. I didn't wear a long sleeve shirt just for. So a little update, it's actually starting to get a little freezing in here. I didn't really think of this, but hopefully I don't get like a cold or... <sighs> I don't know, dude, it's actually getting kind of cold. It's um, it's 8.05 p.m., which is around the time where it starts to get dark. Actually, you can see that there's not as much light in here. Oh god, I, I completely forgot. It's gonna be freaking freezing out tonight. Good thing I'm wearing a wetsuit. All right. We're on the way to get the new GoPro. Yeah. So we're getting a new GoPro and a Mophie case charger for Jimmy so he can charge his phone while underwater. All right, so we're walking into Best Buy. Rolling up, squat. Good, thank you thank you. Have a good one. Dude, give me my bag. Oh, my bag. So we got the new GoPro, the Hero 5 Black, and we got a Mophie case for Jimmy, and we're gonna be on the way back now, so. It's 11 o'clock, which means I'm only halfway done. Halfway. <sighs> yeah. I hate to disappoint you guys, but I randomly started feeling extremely sick while sitting underwater and I had to come out. Like I just had this strong urge to throw up. I think it's because the water was constantly moving. I was just getting really seasick under there. Just after a while, it just really got to me and I just really couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to power through, but I just couldn't. My leg is literally shaking. <laughs> Stop shaking, you're annoying me. This was a horrible idea. I would really not recommend any of you guys do this. I have a massive freaking headache. My head hurts. It's literally throbbing. Tyler, can I go home? I feel terrible. That was a horrible idea for my health. Don't try this. Whatever I just did, don't do it. It's not smart. For real, don't. I could have caught Ligma for all I know. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I just wanted to let you guys know that me and Chris have been thinking of some really funny shirt designs and been putting them on shopmrbeast.com, which will be linked in the description. That sounds way too much like Logan Paul. The URL is in the thing below the video? Basically, we have a bunch of really funny shirts that I think you guys should go check out. This one's a battle royale with cheese. Like, come on, you're a little kid that loves Fortnite. I know you want that. Or look at this one. You're probably thinking it's a Gucci shirt, but it's not. It's Beast, which is obviously the most valuable brand 
land in all of America. And my personal favorite is Life's Unbearable because, you know, there's a bear and it's a pun and I like puns. <laughs> yeah, actually, donate to my stream. It's actually really funny. This one is hilarious. Go buy it. ShopMrBeast.com has all the funniest shirts on the internet. Go check it out and just buy some. I promise you, you will find these shirts hilarious. And if you wear them, people will probably just walk up and talk to you and be like, yo, funny shirt. And you'll be like, yeah, man, freaking hysterical. Oh, 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 oh.